What happens to your body when you hate yourself? What happens to your body when you love yourself? What happens to your body when you ignore yourself? And what happens to your body when you're full of fear? I've been doing this experiment, which I saw on the internet. I saw some people do it and I thought it was a magnificent experiment. And I replicated it in uh, my house for 30 days. Um, I took four jars, I filled it with equal amounts of rice, half a cup of rice and one cup of water. And I closed the uh, jars, I sealed them. And uh, the, I kept them all in the same place. The only difference is, to one jar I said, I love you. Every day I would go to the jar and say, I love you, you look so beautiful. To the hate jar I would say, I hate you, you look so ugly. And to the fear jar I would say, something is going to happen to you, I don't know what, but something is going to happen to you. Uh, you're in big trouble. And to the ignore jar, I would ignore. I just did these four things and let's see what happens. Draw your own conclusions about what you're doing to your body and your cells whenever you either fear, hate or ignore to acknowledge yourself. And when, you, when you don't love yourself, when you even forget to love yourself, these are the things that happen inside your body. So I wanted to I want you to draw your own conclusions from this experiment. Don't experiment on your own body. Start telling your body, I love you, you're beautiful. This is the fear jar. You can see that things are hanging, floating inside it. To this jar I said, uh, something is going to happen to you. You better be afraid of it. You won't live long. These kind of messages is what I said to this jar every day. This is the hate jar and you can see there's a nice thick layer of fungus on top of the uh, rice. It's clear that there's a nice thick layer of fungus formed just above the rice. And to this jar I used to say that I hate you, you're ugly. This is the jar that I completely ignored, said nothing. You can see it's got a nice growth of fungus as well. You can see it on the top here. Nice growth of fungus on top. Also in the center of it, you can see a blob of fungus. Yeah, there, there, there. You saw the blob rise up. There are blobs of fungus, really bad. Pretty bad. And this is the love jar to which I used to say, I love you, you are beautiful. There's no fungus at all, there's no decay whatsoever in the rice. And it's been 30 days sitting in the water in the same place as all the other jars. And uh, now you can see why it's important to love yourself. Otherwise, you'll end up with some really bad disease. Do you want to be afraid of life? This is what's going to happen to you when you are afraid of life. Do you want to hate yourself or somebody else? You get this nice thick layer of fungus over yourself. <laughs> Not worth it either. Or do you want to ignore yourself or someone else? This is what you do to people when you ignore them. Nice blobs of fungus everywhere. I hope this has convinced you to tell yourself every day, I love you, you're so beautiful. This is something that you need to tell yourself. Even if nobody is saying it to you, you better get around to saying it if you want to recover from your disease fast. That was a clip from years ago. Ever since I've done that experiment, I've been experiencing the power of saying positive things to yourself and loving yourself. If you want to learn this, then get into the Siddha Creators community which is the first link in my bio. And uh, thank you very much for watching. If you thought this was useful, share it because I think a lot of people need to hear this. And for some people, this is the only thing they need to do to transform their lives and start enjoying a better future.